I wonder if I should invest in an external drive. Well, only one way to find out. I have the science! When it comes to extra storage space for your laptop, there's really no reason not to invest in an external storage device. The real conundrum becomes, what kind of external drive should you invest in? Well, let's see what the science has to say about it. There are effectively two contenders when it comes to external storage. SSDs, or solid state drives, are the newer, more advanced option. They are fast and durable, but they come at a premium, and they can't store as much data per dollar as an external spinning hard drive. Speaking of which, HDD, or hard disk drive, is the more traditional, if less exciting, option, and it's pretty much what it sounds like. You see, there's a hard spinning metal platter in the device and a small mechanical arm that reads and writes data off the disk. Sound complicated? Not really. Let me demonstrate. That's pretty slick. But SSDs, they don't have any moving parts. They basically only use two chips to store and read data, so the whole process is much simpler. How much simpler? Well... Here's that file. Okay. Is that it? I got other... Science! Because SSDs don't have any moving parts, they have a huge advantage when it comes to durability. Which is important in a mobile storage device, especially when you're on the go frequently. The more moving parts you have, the more susceptible you are to things like jostles, jumbles, and jiggles, as evidenced by this scientific demonstration. SSDs are so durable, in fact, that they can withstand all the g-forces and kinetic energy generated by this highly advanced science disk. not the only advantage SSDs have. Let's take a second to talk about speed. Because hard disk drives still rely on the physical interplay between the disk and its mechanical arm, their speed is limited by many factors, not the least of which being physics. Ooh, pretty good. SSDs don't rely on physical movements to read or write data. Since they're purely electric, they can be much faster. How much faster? <laughs> Fast. Now a top of the line HDD can still afford you read write speeds of about uh, 160 megabits per second. Now compare that with a top of the line SSD drive and you're looking at over 500 megabits per second. You begin to see the difference, but to really feel the difference, Imagine this me is an HDD, reading this classic at 160 megabits per second. of death and one and all. Now pretend this me is an SSD, moving at the speed of data itself, uninhibited by the physical realm. Caution! One crucial caveat. With external data storage, it doesn't matter how fast the drive itself is, your computer can only receive and send data as fast as the connection between the two devices allows. If you're using USB 3.0, you're probably going to experience a bit of a megabit bottleneck. 
To avoid that, make sure that the device you're buying and the laptop you're using both support USB-C to make sure you're getting the fastest connection possible. By now, you must be thinking, Gee whiz, Professor Science, it sounds like an SSD is the clear winner in almost every instance in metric. Why would I even consider getting an external HDD? <laughs> what a ridiculous looking question. Well, hey, of course HDDs still have their advantages, especially when it comes to capacity. Now, SSDs are fast. They're durable, they're great for multitasking, quick booting, and snappy application response. When it comes to sheer volume of data, it's not even really a competition. Most SSDs top out at four terabytes of information, whereas most HDDs can go all the way up to 14 terabytes or more. That makes HDDs perfect for storing libraries of photos, videos, or business files. Imagine, if you will, that this is an external SSD. It can hold a pretty good amount of water, especially for how small it is. Now imagine that this is an external HDD. Even though it's not that much bigger on the outside, it can hold a hell of a lot more data. Last, but certainly not least, let's discuss price. It used to be the case that SSDs were so prohibitively expensive that only the most serious users could afford to take advantage of this new technology. Now, their prices are coming down a little bit, but it is still the case that HDDs are the much more cost-effective option, especially if you compare dollars to bytes. Even this may be offset in the long run, though, because SSDs are much more power efficient than their voltage-hungry hard disk cousins. Ultimately, you can't go wrong giving your system a little extra storage. Better boot times, data backups, and a plethora of other advantages become available with a simple external device. Which external device is right for you is a question that only science can answer. For your scientific satisfaction, I'm Ben Tibbles. Cheers, and happy storing. <gasps> oh, I forgot to back up!